Hello everyone, welcome to Off The Charts, episode 108. Today's episode is a little bit different, or it's a special episode. Before we start off, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe, tell your friends, and I'm also going to be putting some links of other people's YouTube channels slash episode that we're talking about today, which is intro to hair metal, vinyl community thread, hard rock, and heavy metal. This thread was started by uh, the Flipside Vinyl Community with JC. So he did an episode with you know his intro to hair metal uh, vinyl community. Uh, then I saw an episode from uh, my friend Steve at Rock and Metal Invasion. And by looking at his episode, I saw one that was done by Aquatic Records with Captain Ron. So I'm like... You know what? I'm going to do my own episode uh, regarding hair metal slash hard rock slash heavy metal. I'm going to put my take on it as how I remember it at the time. Because uh, I did live through the uh, the glory days of hair metal. I remember what was popular and what terms were used uh, at the time. So this is in response to... That thread being started by a Flip uh, Side Vinyl Community with JC. And that was a great episode too. So, first of all, before I start off, is... Okay, hair metal is not a genre of music. Let's I'm going to get that out there. It's a mix of music mixed with a look, to, in my opinion. Um, is heavy metal... Like, how do I explain this here? Heavy metal, how I described heavy metal back then is not how I describe heavy metal right now. And I am now going by, if you look at the movie, um, Headbanger's Journey uh, by Banger Films, I think there. I find the flow chart in there that is, describes heavy metal and all that and all its subgenres is the best thing to come out of, uh, out of this here. It makes so much sense. So to me, heavy metal is like, you know, the father and then all the other, like your hair metal, your hard rock, your grunge, your is all underneath it. So I would put, let's say, poison and Black Sabbath and uh, Lamb of God, let's say, for an example, under the umbrella of heavy metal. But then you got all these subgenres that would be... Anyway, It's it makes sense in my head. Uh, maybe some people will not agree with this. But back then, and someone, I forget who mentioned it in their channels that the word hair metal did not exist. And you're right that that back when it was popular, that type of uh, music, the word hair metal did not exist. I think it started later on. It went, it started off as a joke, as a like sl joke slash insult. And then now it's just a normal term to describe, you know, poofy hair with uh, blazing guitars, boring bass. Uh, screeching vocals, anyway. So, I'll be talking about... Well, I'm not going to start talking about... All, like, if I forget some bands, and I'm only going to talk about one album per band, by the way. Some I'm purposely not talking about because they've been talked about by uh, Rock and Metal Invasion and Aquatic, Aquatic Records with Captain Ron and also JC's Flipside. So, I'm not going to start repeating and all that. Uh, the first ones that I'm going to mention are just the repeats, but they're the, if you're starting into hair metal, this is what you should be starting off with. Quiet Riot, prob well, the first metal, I see back then it was called metal. The first metal album to be, uh, go to go number one. Now, would you call this metal these days? Not even close. I call this hard rock. But anyway, Quiet Riot, the first one to do so. 
when I was a kid, this was huge. Again, this was mentioned before. I'm not going to go on talking about it here. Twisted Sister. I don't find these guys heavy metal. I find these guys hard rock. Uh, you're, I know you're not going to like me there, Steve, but uh, maybe hard rock verging on metal, but not me not heavy metal. Again, I don't find heavy metal to be... Uh, I find it, again, like the grand the granddad or the father of all these subgenres. So anyway, there you go. Twisted Sister. This one was a little bit later in the game. Bon Jovi. This was started big for, for these guys. Uh, another great hair metal album right here. They're no longer hair metal. They're, they went off on this tangent that I really don't care about. But back then, this was huge. This was hair metal. So Bon Jovi, Slippery One Wet. You guys probably know it as the censored cover anyway. I'm just going fast through for these ones here. Who doesn't remember the final countdown? My God, these guys went glam. They didn't start off as glam. or See, glam's another word. Glam, hair metal is the same thing in my head, okay? I might say the word glam. I might say the word hair metal. But the final countdown, I think the album after this also was considered very hair metal-ish. But they're... Uh... And anyway, Europe, the final countdown, everybody. So this is your four. Plus, I'm, like I said, I'm not talking about your your uh, your other ones. And I'm the next batch here of records is your technically first albums so before we do that cheers to everybody you know it's grand marnier time mm. i feel like i'm talking a lot here too. all right this usually would be at one of the you know your uh your household name ones there but i'm going to put rat technically they have an ep before this but round and round Everybody, like, this is one of the first hair metal albums out there. I, I, I think they're hard rock. They're not heavy metal. Sometimes they're maybe verging on heavy metal. But I, I find the Rat would be um, hard rock. Again, these have been talked about. The ones I'm going to talk about more in detail are the ones that... Uh, haven't been mentioned in the, the other channels. And like I said, I'm going to be putting their descriptions uh, in the uh, their, their channel names in the description below. So Rat Out of the Cellar, one of the first. This one, I don't consider it a hair metal album, but Motley Crue's first album was the first of many things to come. I think this was 1981. Um, then they did like... We all know Theater of Pain. I'm just, like I said, I'm putting the first albums of bands that uh, went on to become hair metal bands or glam bands or glam rock or whatever. Uh, this is hard rock punk, I guess, but first one by Motley Crue. Like I said, one of the first ones, um, Too Fast for Love. I don't find this, like I said, to be a hair metal album. Nor do I find Shout of the Devil that's been mentioned a lot in the um, in the other channels. I would say Theater of Pain is probably the, uh, the guilty one here. But anyway, Motley Crue, one of the first ones also. I'm surprised this one wasn't really mentioned before, but this is 1980. Def Leppard, On Through the Night. Uh, pop, hard rock, I guess. Their three first albums are great. Then it went really hair metal. When I called it hair metal, pop hair metal, I, I don't know, man. It's But I mean, I'm just surprised nobody's mentioned uh, Def Leppard. Or if they have, I just, I guess I blinked. Um, yeah, Rock Brigade, Hello America. Uh, this, this is these the, the first three Def Leppards are the only ones I own by Def Leppard, by the way. But um, yeah, I would say that uh, this is uh, definitely one of uh, their better ones for sure. Here, 1980. So it, I would say, hair metal seeds have been planted earlier on uh, in um, 
in the world of music here. So on through the night, Def Leppard's first album. This one also, like people have been mentioning their second or third album. Um, Dawkins Breaking the Chains. This is 1980. The original version is 1981. This is probably 83-ish, but th there is a version uh, a little different. But uh, Breaking the Chains, one of the early uh, hair metal bands out there. Uh, Dawkins. Not can not real. I, I like this album a lot. There, uh, I would say it's not one of my near favorites. There, I've done a ranking of this band here before. I've done a ranking about all these bands there, almost, well, except maybe Def Leppard and Europe. I just don't have all the Europe's yet there. <laughs> but anyway, one day. But anyway, Dawkins, another one, a great. Uh, again, these guys were full-on glam hair metal uh, back in the mid-80s there. That was their heyday. So, um, Breaking the Chains, Dawkin. This one, I'm surprised nobody's mentioned this band here. Uh, again, in the videos that I've seen. Uh, Kicks, Not part of the uh, LA scene. These, This is 1981. So, it's hard rock I guess it's closer to Motley Crue's uh, Too Fast for Love than anything else I guess but more hard rock than Motley Crue's Too Fast for Love uh, I think this is a great album here uh, better things to come from Kicks obviously there uh, when they went full on uh, hair metal there again with I'll talk about hair metal a little bit later on there. Again, I find it's a mix of look and music. But yeah, hair uh, kicks their self-titled first album here. Now, these... Oh, before I... Uh, so I start these episodes with ideas in my head and I just fucking go on these tangents here. Um, here's another popular one. These are, they're not first albums and they're not your household names, but they were very popular in the, uh, hair metal, uh, genre. Cinderella, easily their, well, this one and their last one, I would say are their heaviest, I guess, there for, uh, again, hair metal. This is full on hair metal look. Um, do I consider this a hair metal album? Definitely. Um... Music wise, a little bit uh, on the heavier side there, but yep, great one here. Again, people have talked about this album here. I'm not gonna go all out there, but yeah, I guess the guy JC's like, I'm hoping to see some Cinderella. Well, here you are. So, Night Songs was their first one here, and I remember in high school when this was huge. This one here, <laughs> again, I'm just going by from what I remember. I do like them now. But Striper, they were not popular here in my high school. I could tell you this right now. And I still remember my friend Steph in high school going, they're popular, we just don't know where. <laughs> like nobody liked or, or I guess bragged about liking Striper maybe. Um, but yeah, these guys were huge somewhere. Uh... I don't, I don't even know what to say for... I mean, come on. They definitely had the look. I guess it would be hair metal with uh, Christian hair metal, if that's a thing there. Or Christian hard rock, I don't know there. Um, but, uh, yeah, Striper, To Hell With The Devil. The cool cover. Uh, these guys started pretty, like, in the 70s. So you know what? I'm going to put this... Yeah, I'm going to talk about it later here. These are hair metal bands I like. But success wasn't as big as the ones. Like, really not household names here. The first, Black and Blue. Great. Like, these guys... Like, they're this is good. Um, but yeah, didn't really... Uh, but this, they definitely were hair metal... Um, 
and they embraced it too there they were like this is their little mini d snyder as in twisted sister so um yeah black and blue another one i was surprised not to have heard this was huge back in 84 when this came out or maybe 85 i forget there and then fell into obscurity this again i'm talking about from where i come from here canada and ottawa canada uh this was huge at the time here whatever they did after that nothing but yeah i would definitely categorize them into the hair metal uh era uh just it was not meant to be i guess so uh, autograph sign in please everybody knows turn up the radio there's always this one song i find that there's this one maybe two but definitely one song by each band you're like oh yeah i remember that one here here's some late in the games but again household names everybody remembers winger of course i've been talking about them uh, so much this was hair metal look wise hair metal big time but with talent if that makes any uh, sense there um love them or hate them i i do love these guys here but yeah winger it was a little bit late in the game this was late hair metal but still very popular at the time so the first uh winger album another one late to the game pretty popular warrant this was huge uh, the singer did not like the song Cherry Pie. I'm not even going to get into that part. But again, in my late high school days, this was huge. Uh, Cherry Pie was like the song there at the time there. So, um, yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm looking at this cover. I'm like, oh, okay. I never... <laughs> I never... I never realized i guess the positioning of that uh cherry pie there let me put it that way i'm like oh yeah that's clever but anyway cherry pie warrant uh was again huge embracing the hair metal genre another one late at the game slaughter this was just an excuse to put up this lovely, uh, gorgeous uh, album cover here. But yeah, this was like 19, yeah, 90. That was kind of the, again, another late in the game here. But another great hair metal uh, albums here. By the way, the ones I'm mentioning all here are is stuff that I really love there. Um, but like I said, I'm only putting one album per band. So Slaughter, Stick It To Ya. Yeah, there you go. That's the name of the album right there. So there you go. And now, well, first, before I finish my. Uh, our bands from the, I guess, 70s. Yeah, these are all. Technically, they all started in the 70s. That are not glant or hair metal bands, but they did a hair metal album. I think you kind of know where I'm going with this here. So, yeah, this was YNT. Yeah near the end of their career they were getting very glammy then like everybody else like this is and even the one before that uh, down for the count was a pretty hair metal ish there do i think that early ynt is uh hair metal musically no look wise their look was not very cool <laughs> but um yeah like come on so yeah ynt was one that started in the 70s and they did this glam uh, or hair metal album here. So, Contagious. There you go. <laughs> this one. I'll, anyway, I'll put it up now. Alice Cooper, Trash. Who doesn't remember this? Now, far from being my favorite Alice Cooper album, but reason number one is this got me into buying all the rest of of his uh, discography afterwards this was my first concert ever uh, trash so yeah alice cooper did a hair metal album huge hit with poison at the time uh, but a lot of the bands from the 70s i guess had to reinvent themselves to a point to keep up with these uh originators from uh, hair metal here 
So Alice Cooper, Trash. Yeah, everybody remembers this one here. Scorpion, Savage Amusement. I mean, the rhythm, if you compare the rhythm of love to, I guess, Rocky Like a Hurricane, my God, these are wimpy guitars here. But that was, they went from hard rock to, I guess, and their look too. Oh my God, this was, they were all beautiful and shiny. I still remember the rhythm of love video there. You're like, everybody's like cracking like a smile there. And I was like, it doesn't, the, the songs are great. Don't get me wrong. There's, I'm not bashing hair metal here, but uh, yeah. Scor it happened to Scorpions. They went hair metal for an album, maybe two. Before here. <laughs> My favorite band. Kiss. This was the look. My God, was it ever hair metal. Musically, not as much. I would say Crazy Nights was more of a hair metal sound. This one was pretty heavy, like for uh, for Kiss standards here. Some cool song. Uh, I, this is one of my favorite Kiss albums here. But uh, yeah, the colors on this. Anyway, I actually love the colors. I, there's nothing I don't like about this album here. But uh, yeah, the colors are very 1985. Uh, this was what was was popular. And look at the videos from uh, uh, Who Wants to Be Lonely. Uh, tears are falling in uh, all night. Paul Stanley and even Gene Simmons, like dressed in pink and all that there. But uh, I guess it matches their. Uh, I, I did like that little touch with the uh, the lipstick there. That, that was great. But anyway, Kiss Asylum. Look wise, more hair metal than sound wise. Everybody remembers Turbo. Um. Everybody either hates or loves this album. Uh, I love this album here. <laughs> this is great stuff. A good song is a good song is a good song. But yeah, like when you go from Screaming for Vengeance and Defenders of the Faith to this, I was like, whoa. Um, but again, at the time, I, I Turbo Lover is a freaking great song. Like, whatever. it's. But another 70s band that did a hair metal album. At last at the one album... But uh, here we go. So uh, Judas Priest, Turbo. And last one, Saxon. Yeah, this is hair metal. Like, even more hair metal than Destiny, if you ask me there. So I love this album, though. Like, this is one of my favorite Saxon albums here. But, uh, yeah, Back on the Streets. First video I ever saw from Saxon. I was like, oh, my God, these guys are good. But, uh, yeah. These guys started in 79, and they're still kicking around and doing heavy metal, I guess, or power metal or whatnot there. But, uh, yeah, Innocence is no excuse. Saxon, hair metal at, at its finest right here. So, that's... It was more like showing off some albums, but, like I said, hair metal to me is not a genre. He heavy metal is not a genre of music anymore because of all its subgenres. I think more most of these end up in the it's hard rock version verging on pop, hard rock verging on metal, hard rock verging on uh, what else there fuck. Anyway, you know what I mean like I said look at the movie uh, Metal a Headbanger's Journey and you'll see the flow chart and to me again to me you guys may have a different opinion on this here but to me this was the best flow chart ever made regarding metal and how do you categorize certain groups so if you haven't watched the movie watch like i said just watch it for the or just go and google metal a headbanger's journey flow chart and i'll tell you all the subgenres like at shock rock or shock metal uh, which is your Wasp, your Alice Cooper, your uh, theater metal, like glam metal was another one. I, I forget that grunge metal was another one. Um, I, for, I forget the other titles there. But uh, but anyway, this, like I said, is in response to uh, JC's uh, uh, vinyl, um, well, the introduction to hair, uh, to hair metal. 
So I've got your essentials, your first albums, like tech, technically the first five hair metal albums ever made. But again, per band, one per band. I'm like, I, I know that, anyway, I'm not going to. Uh, 70s bands that did a hair metal album. Uh, some that just never went popular, I guess, there. But uh, anyway, I'm also putting, like I said, the links to the videos of the three that I mentioned to continue this thread. So I'm still, like I said, trying to finish my collection of um, of a vinyl here. I'm trying to get anything I can get my hands on regarding hair metal here. So I'm trying to get everything that exists hair metal. And there's lots of crap I have upstairs too, so I'm not even going to... Not even bother mentioning for this uh, channel here. So anyway, that is my episode. I would like to thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to check out the other episodes from the other guys' threads below. And on that note, we shall see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.